Hi, it's Monday. That makes it time again for Man, Man Skills. Skills. Since I started this series, I've had no shortage of suggestions for material. And let me tell you what, I love it. Keep them coming, please. But for the first little while, anyway, I'd like to kind of keep it somewhat uh, survival or, or basic needs focused. Now I can hear somebody already. Bacon, what's bacon got to do with survival? Well, come to my house. Mess up the bacon, see how that works out for you. And then you will see that properly cooking bacon is absolutely survival. Today though, I wanna show you two different methods for figuring out which direction is north. The first method involves using an analog watch and a stick. Take your stick, stab it into the ground, straight up and down. You now have a line that's pointing directly at the direction that the sun is coming from. Next, take your analog watch. This will not work with a digital watch, so don't even try it. Take your analog watch and orient it so that the hour hand is pointing in the direction of the sun, so aligned with this shadow. Now split the difference between the hour hand and 12 o'clock. So in this case, it's going to be just a little bit after one on the dial. That stick now is facing south, true south, not magnetic south. And just for giggles, let me show you that that works. There it is. Now granted, that's going to be true south, not magnetic. So I think here where we're at, the variation is 13 degrees. Oh, and the other thing is, Daylight savings time. In the summertime, before doing this trick, you need to set your watch back one hour. Don't ask me how it all works, it just does. Now the second method involves the same stick, stick it in the ground, and at the very tip of where the shadow is, right here, poke in another stick. Now you're gonna give it an amount of time, like maybe half hour. It's been about 25 minutes and my stick shadow is threatening to be overtaken by the tree shadow. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to take another stick and push it in right at the end of where the shadow is. Now this straight line right here will be east-west. Therefore, something perpendicular is north-south. Now there are a few other ways to determine which direction is north. For instance, the fact that moss does normally grow on the north side of trees, if there is moss on the trees. Evergreens, a lot of times, will grow on the north face of a, uh, of a hill or a mountain. So if you see a big bald hill, often, not always, it's not real reliable, but often the bald face of a hill will be facing south. I don't know why it works that way. I guess the uh, conifers just like a little bit less sunshine. So, look those up, verify them, learn them, and have a few different ways to know which direction is north. That about does it for this week's man skills. Make sure to tune in next week. Tune in. What is this, the 1950s? Make sure to check back next week for a new one on Monday. I hope you check back sooner than that, but check back at least next week on Monday for a new Man, man skills. skills. Make sure to share this with somebody that you know, you know somebody, who needs to learn some man skills. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Once again, I nearly forgot to say something nice about Dave, but I remembered. So here goes. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men called Dave to come put Humpty back together again. <laughs>